Today we're going to sew this teddy tote purse. Right now you need your two strap pieces which are both rectangular and you're going to sew them together right there. Once they are sewn together this is what it should look like. Now you want to get your straps and the straps should be centered in between the body panel and they should be 8 to 10 centimeters apart depending on how wide you have your straps. Now what you want to do is pin them onto the body panel so they won't slide when you're about to sew. My design for this purse has the handle separated into four pieces that will be sewn across the straps. But if you want to, you could sew yours just going down the side of the straps and not going the four panels across. So I measured them out to five centimeters a piece. And you see me here pinning each each one so I'll know where to um sew it. Now you're going to do the other side, the same thing you did to the one side. Now you want to sew each part that you separated. And you're going to do this for both front and back. Once you have the front and back done, you can now fold your straps at the top in half. So they can be a little bit slimmer. You don't have to do this part, but it's an option. So you want to pin it together. And do both sides, front and back. And now you want to leave a four centimeter space from the top panel of the body um section. And you want to make 
make sure you measure that on both handles. Now you want to sew it. Once that's done, it should look like this. Now you're done with the front and back panels for right now. Now you want to get the zipper section. You don't have to do this part. This is actually optional too. So take your zipper and flip it over from put right sides together with your main fabric. And you want to sandwich it in between the um you want to sandwich it between the main fabric and the liner fabric, just as you see here. you want to sew it should look like this once you did both sides now you want to take your body lining and you're going to sandwich the zipper part in between the lining and the main fabric lining. Make sure you put the zipper panel piece in the center of your lining piece. Because it will not be the same length as your lining. Now you want to sew. Now it should look like this once you did both sides. your pocket panel or to your lining. around the edges of the pocket panel to keep it in place and you can sew a line going down in three panels or you can just sew one uh, panel. Take your lining panels and pin them to the edge of your body panel. 
Make sure you fold down the handle so you won't sew them. Sew the lining on the inside. Because you don't want that to happen. There will be a hard time taking it apart. Once you have that all pinned, you can sew. Now it should look like this after you did both sides. Now you want to get your small pieces for the strap handle that can be used as a crossbody handle. And you're going to sew it around the edges. Now you want to get your drink holder panel and sew it along the top and bottom. Now let's get the side panels and take the lining, which you're going to do first. gonna sew along the top part of the panel now to install the drink holder you should put it down four centimeters from the top of the panel past the, where the regular liner is Press your drink holder so it can be nice and flat. Now make sure it's down four centimeters from the regular lining fabric. And then you wanna pin it edge to edge on the side, as you see here that I'm doing. sew along the sides it should look like this once you've sewn it now you're going to get this piece and you're going to line it up to the top edge of the side panel you're going to do it for both sides make sure you get your two um side pieces for the straps the strap part is optional make sure you put your um your metal hardware in between the um strap pieces then you're going to sew it together and it should look like this once you're done Now you want to do your bottom panel. Take your lining and put it over the bottom panel. 
and you're going to pin it on. Once you do that, you're going to sew both edges. Now, once that's sewn, it should look like this. Then you're going to take your side panel and put it right sides together. And then you want to pull your lining over top of the bottom panel. So you're sandwiching the bottom panel between the side panel and the lining of the side panel. And you want to put that exactly in the middle and pin it together. You want to sew across the entire thing. Once you have done that, you should line the body to the liner edge and fold over your main fabric from the side and, and pin it, then sew. Once that done, it should look like this. You should do that on both sides. Make sure you don't do it on the same side panel as you did the first one. Do it on the opposite side because that could be confusing. Then you want to do the bottom, which you want to line it up to the bottom panel of the lining, roll it over, and sew. Once you have pinned the bottom row all together, you should sew. And once you did that, you should have did both sides. And this is how it will turn out. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video.